Hello. It's good to see you again. Oh, do you recognize me? Well, that's good. Yes, it's me. From the lab? I'm honestly quite pleased that you recognize my face. Was it that eye-catching? I apologize for coming here so late at night, by the way. I hope I didn't wake anyone here up. Oh, you live alone. Well then, lucky me. Uh, lucky in the sense that I didn't wake anyone up, I mean. <laughs> anyway, I have something important to talk with you. It's about your blood test. The results came in. Now, yes, I know what you're thinking. Usually, they just simply mail the results to you. No need to send anyone. But I'm sure you'll see that this is... an exception. There was something special you see in the results. Uh, oh, don't worry. It's not one of those you-have-a-month-left-to-live sort of scenarios. It's nothing bad. Quite the opposite, in fact. Your blood is amazing. And the talk about it might take a while, so... Maybe we should have a seat? Oh, thank you. I'd love to come in. Now, I'll try to make this as quick as possible. I'm sure you don't want me to keep you up all night, right? But anyway, about your blood test. As I was saying, the results came in. And like I said, nothing bad. The results weren't disastrous by any means. Well, you could do with eating a bit less sugar, but that's hardly unique to you. You know how the public health is in this day and age. But there wasn't anything that spelled out the end of the world for you. Blood sugar aside, your blood, to put it lightly, is really a work of art. Now, to explain just what I mean, I'm going to have to give you a little background information. Where to begin? Say, do you believe in the supernatural? Ghosts? Werewolves? Vampires? That sort of thing? I'd imagine you're not much of a believer. Sorry, I know it's a weird question. Especially coming from someone who works in a lab. I mean, you'd think I'd be such a scientifically minded person given my work. I don't actually know about ghosts and werewolves, to be frank. <laughs> but, why don't you go give that mirror a good look and tell me what you see? Or rather, don't see in this case. Yes, that's right. It's not a trick of the light. My reflection really is nowhere to be seen in that mirror. And it's not some illusion either. You know how it goes, right? The whole vampires don't have reflections thing? So, and I know this might be hard to believe, but what I'm saying is, I'm a vampire. The drinks blood and prowls the night kind. And don't believe me? Well, I admire your skepticism, if nothing else. Hey, how heavy is this couch? It's pretty big. Maybe 300 pounds or 350? Check this out. See? I can lift it with one hand. I'm not even breaking a sweat. 
Though, <laughs> I don't think the same could be said for you. Don't worry, I'll put it down gently. I know we'll wake the neighbors if we're loud. Wouldn't want that. But it's incredible, right? Even the weakest vampires can lift at least twenty times what an average human can. This sort of strength is normal for us, but to you it's apparently some sort of marvel. So surely you must believe me now. Though, to tell you the truth, at this point it doesn't really matter. It never mattered. I don't care if you believe me or not. It doesn't change anything. Because I'm going to have you either way. You see, you're a marvel too. And it's actually quite embarrassing to admit it, but... I need you. You know how I was saying your blood is special? Well, I should be a bit more specific. It's special to me. Well, not just me. It's very special to a certain group of vampires, but I'm one of them. It's so special that I was working at that lab, putting in so many hours analyzing blood all the time, just so I could find someone with blood like yours. You look a little lost. Let me tell you a bit about my medical history. You see, I have a certain medical condition. I'm sure you haven't heard of it because it only affects vampires. It's called hemoclectia. I got it... Well, the symptoms appeared about a month ago. Now what that means is, I basically can't drink or make use of the vast majority of different types of blood. Though, vast majority is a bit of an understatement here. To get the point across, I don't mean just blood types like type A or B or AB. If it was just that, then at the worst I'd have 1% of the human population I could feast on. It's a lot worse than that for me. The type of blood that I can actually digest is so rare, it basically doesn't exist. At least, that's what I assumed until I saw yours. Hemoclectia leaves the victim with very strict requirements for what type of blood they can drink. But yours, oh, it's perfect. Better than perfect. There isn't a single drop of blood anywhere more perfect than yours. The acidity level, the ratio of white blood cells, the oxygen saturation. Everything is just so to weed the masterpiece that is your blood. Every last detail, absolutely flawless. I'm salivating just thinking about it. Finally, blood I can actually drink. You have no idea how starved I've been. I just can't contain myself. In fact, let me just get a little closer and... Wow. Putting my hand on your heart like this, feeling it pump all that succulent blood, it's intoxicating. Well, your clothes are a bit in the way of me feeling your heart, but the point still stands. I haven't had anything in a month, but now, after all this time, 
I have in front of me what must be the only person who can say to me, and I'm going to have a sip. <laughs> I hope that didn't make you too nauseous. Bear with it. It'll pass. But you know, <laughs> finally having some blood after all this time, it's like finding water after being stranded in the desert. Or at least I imagine that's the example a human would understand. It's so good, but I'm not the only one after it. You are a gold mine for vampires with a condition like mine. Usually, when a vampire gets hemoclectia, it's essentially a death sentence. They'll be doomed to starve to death. After all, the chance of finding someone with blood like yours is essentially zero. In fact, if the models are correct, the chance is basically one in a billion. So it really is a miracle that I found you. Destiny, even. And obviously that means there are going to be a lot of vampires after you. But don't worry, you'll be safe with me. I'll keep you nice and protected in my home. It's like a fortress. I even have a bunker. There, you will offer your blood exclusively to me, and whenever I ask for it. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Your one job. Simple and low stress. You're welcome. I'll take care of everything else. You don't have to worry about anything. Forget about the stress of waking up early and forcing yourself to go to school or work. Forget worrying about money. Forget worrying about your belongings. I'll buy you whatever you need, as long as you'll be a good little meal. Looking around, I notice you seem to have a bunch of useless stuff around here. I can buy you a lot of useless stuff back at my place. It'll be just like home. Except this time you'll have some actual company. You need time to think about it. <laughs> oh, you poor, poor thing. Since when were you under the impression that you had a choice? You're mine. And you're coming with me, whether you like it or not. I'm powerful even by the freakish standards of vampires. I'm influential in both the human and vampire worlds. So what makes you think you can resist me? When I want something, I get it. And I want you. Now... Let me tell you how things are going to go. First, you're going to apologize for even entertaining the possibility of trying to resist me. Then, if there's anything you want to bring along with you, you can bring it as long as you can pack it up in, say, 15 minutes. Then, we are getting in my car. Do you understand? Good. Apology accepted. Now come on. Your 15 minutes just started. <laughs>